Hello there, guys. Today, I want to help y'all financially. Not in any big way, but to help you make decisions on how you want to spend your Robux by informing you of what Game Passes and BRM5 offer for gameplay. I'm going to go in order from most useful to least useful based on the average player. I've done chapter markers at the bottom, so if there's any particular pass you are interested in, you can skip right to it. Other than that, let's go. Shadow Raid Pack. The Shadow Raid Game Pass costs 450 Robux, which is 5 USD, so you're getting some great gear and an amazing value. The pass comes with the GP NVG-18, also known as Quad Nods, the Shadow Raid Uniform, and the Shadow Raid Gun Camo. After purchasing this pass and all other passes in the game, with a few exceptions I'll mention later, you'll be able to use all of the items in the Game Pass, regardless of in-game money or star level, and this pass is amazing. For me, the skin is kind of mid, but if you wanted or needed to give a gun a black camo that doesn't have any by default, this works. The uniform is pretty good, an A tier choice especially for blending in when it's dark. But the best thing about the, this whole pass for me is the quad knots. You can make an SF loadout that isn't black ops with it, you can see so much more at night with it, and be intimidating to people, well, sometimes, but most of the time looking good. Chinook, CH47. The Chinook Game Pass costs 200 Robux, which is 2 USD. The pass allows you to buy and use your own Chinook, which currently has the largest carry capacity in the game with 23 total people being able to sit. 20 passengers, 1 gunner if applicable, and 2 pilots. The Chinook comes with 4 different camos, Green, Desert, BAF, and CIF. Green being the default, it's a good green that goes with the rest of the game. The Desert would make sense if there was a Desert. There is a stock map for paid private server owners, but this is a very different color of desert. BAF, standing for British Armed Forces, uses a modern high-vis roundel with a matte dark green and dark sea gray tornado sig camo pattern, which I think means tornado-like. I don't speak Swedish, so if you do, please let me know what tornado sig means. CAF, standing for Canadian Armed Forces, uses the RCAF pattern, which is a brown and green camo with the Canadian maple leaf that works with the colors on Rhinograd, but not as well as the normal green camo. If you don't add anything besides the camos to the vehicle, you won't have repair costs. You can put a Browning M250 caliber HMG on the helicopter, but this will cost you an extra 4000 bucks and add a pretty cheap repair cost. Other than that, it has a camera, wrapper ropes, and a lot of health. You can fly into AA and it will only do about 50% of the helicopter's total health before the pilot is knocked down, but sometimes the people in the back survive. If you want to try the helicopter out for yourself, you can hop in a free private server and spawn it in with RGE, no payments required. Airborne Recon Pack The Recon Game Pass costs 600 Robux, which is 6 USD. The pass comes with the Scout Uniform, MPC 2.0 Vest, a Folded Boonie, the SRTV Recon Vehicle, and the Reesey Gun Camo. The Scout Uniform is an AT uniform, but it looks very similar to three other uniforms. G4 Combat MTP, AC Combat Varicam, and Delta Force. The Weapon Camo is the best in game in my opinion because it isn't too heavy on the color, it's just so subtle that it goes perfectly with the environment of the island. The vest is okay, I give it a C tier only because you can customize one part on the vest and change the camo. The boonie is pretty good, if you ever wanted to make a Captain Price fit, this would be what I would choose for the headgear. And the Yarsa TV is really bouncy but super fast. If you ever wanted to do stunt driving, crazy driving, or racing, it's the best for those. RL8000 Camo Pack The RAL AK Game Pass costs 250 Robux which is about 3 USD. The pass gives you access to the RAL 8000 gun camo which can be used on the UMP45, G36, MP5, RFW-416, and the USP. I honestly have no idea what to use this camo for. The only time I use it is when I'm messing around and usually I wouldn't have these on if I were using one of these weapons anyway. Currently I don't think there are any plans to add this camo to other guns or attachments but I could be wrong, devs please comment on this if you're watching, I'm curious. Before I go, I want to let y'all know, I've been doing more organized events in my Discord, so if y'all want to join in on those, the link is in the description below. That's it, y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed. Hit like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to get notified when I upload. Bye.